Avir Omo from the Nauru campus and warm Pacific greetings. Welcome to my monthly vlog. It's really exciting that now all of USP's campuses are finally open and operational, including all three campuses in Fiji. But I think it's equally important to remember that this is a deadly pandemic and that we must be vigilant and mindful uh, of what its capacity is. So we can need to be continually vigilant about observing national COVID protocols. I want to share some of the highlights of the month with you. First, of course, has been uh, our strategic plan consultation. Over the past few months, the senior management team have been working relentlessly to refresh the strategic plan. Um, and we've, of course, sought lots of input from our staff and students and our stakeholders. The survey review, the webinar and the Moodle consultations have deeply assisted us in refining the final submission for Council. Thank you all once again for participating in this important consultation for the University. I also want to share some good news around the Times Higher Education ranking which we were so um, proud of in September. We've received further, further news that we've been ranked in the subject rankings for social science in the Times Higher Education. USP is now ranked in the 501 to 600 in this subject area and it's a great reflection of the quality education and research that we continue to undertake and offer at the university. So we now of course are ranked not only in the physical sciences but also in the social sciences. During this month, we've also had three graduations uh, for the second half of the year. In September, we saw the Lothala graduation, which had uh, 1,130 students who uh, graduated. And although we're unable to celebrate in the usual manner, I do hope that uh, our graduates and graduates were able to celebrate in a special way. On the 22nd of October, the new way graduations of the university not only installed our 29th chancellor, His Excellency the Honorable Dalton Tangalangi, but also saw one of the most exciting graduation ceremonies in new way. Here, uh, 64 students received their testimers with over 50% of our graduates having completed masters by coursework. Indeed, I think it's a record that 13 of the graduates uh, received MBAs. On the 29th of October, our Solomon Islands campus will have its graduation at the Pacific Casino Paradise Hall, where 362 students will receive their testimers. So once again, congratulations to all of you and wishing you success as proud alumni of the University of the South Pacific. With the Glasgow COP26 meeting convening at the beginning of November, seven USP postgraduate students will also be observing the UN Climate Change Summit negotiations. Building the capacity of our future climate change leaders continues to be of importance to USP and we're elated for our students' participation. We're proud of the work they will do and wish our Pacific delegations the very best at COP26. USP is also pleased to announce that they've signed a memorandum of understanding with the Nauru Ocean Resources uh, Company, NORI, on the 18th of October. The generous support from NORI funds science scholarships for year 11 students of Nauru Secondary School to study at USP foundation programs and be able to be uh, to continue into the degree programs. And this initiative will be particularly important with transition to tertiary life for these students. As we come into the final quarter of the semester, I encourage all of us to continue to stay connected and particularly our students. If you're facing any difficulties, please do not hesitate to get in touch with our staff. Once again, thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you again next month.